Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's video is Microsoft Blocks Russian Election Meddling Sites. First of all, sorry about the potato quality video. I'll be back in our normal studio in the next few days. In any case, today's story is short and sweet. Recently, Microsoft claimed to block six different domains that they say are associated with Russian election meddling or hacking. Uh, they actually attribute these domains to APT28, a well-known Russian uh, cyber attack group. But these six sites were kind of pretending to be a couple of conservative think tank sites, and some were also related to other conservative senators. And these sites were clearly created to actually do phishing, to try to grab the password of, of certain targets that were probably related with these sites. Now, according to Microsoft, while they found these sites and shut them down, they have no uh, signs that these sites have been actually used yet. So it looks like they might have caught them on time. In any case, it's definitely the biggest story today. All the InfoSec related media is talking about it. By the way, Microsoft is essentially able to find this sort of thing because they handle email for so many organizations through Office 365. And for instance, they can see when uh, other actors are using domains that belong to somebody else. So what's the takeaway here? Well, if you work for the US government or some campaign or a senator, you might be able to get something called account guard from Microsoft for free, which will kind of monitor for this illicit activity. But for all the normal people out there, the best takeaway is to always use multi-factor authentication for any important assets. Even if someone can fish your credentials, multi-factor authentication using other factors like a push authentication or one-time password can protect you from these sorts of phishing attempts. And by the way, WatchGuard has a great AuthPoint product that can offer enterprise-wide multi-factor. Anyways, that's it for today's story. I'll be sure to have links in the uh, blog posts associated with this video if you want more information. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.